Noli, and welcome back to some more Dragon Blades. So we got new patch notes. No patch uh, notes. I don't know why I clicked on this. <laughs> but I did do um, pigs like yesterday and I didn't pick up the rewards. I totally forgot about them. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. News. Uh, anything else? Oh, drop rate. What is this about? Oh, lucky pouches. Something along that. What was this? Oh, Hive is getting shut down. Is it be hard to inform you that our service for okay for Hive is getting shut down? Now, before everybody freaks out, Hive is not like the creators of Dragon Blaze. It's not shutting down. They're pretty much your, your whole like little login thing. I'm pretty sure Dragon Blaze is probably gonna have a fail safe for that. But it's gonna be on August 12th when they shut down. I never played like too many of the games that dealt. Well, yeah, I haven't played too many games that dealt with Hive to be honest. But it's unfortunate that they're closing down. That's what feels bad for sure. Okay, so update. 722. Alright, Arena Champions League issues. Hold up. Do not enter Champion League. Text not completed is exposed. We open with future updates. Okay. Alright, so issue. Full build change. Okay. Okay, I guess that's just to fix. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't play on iOS. I just play on PC. Well, I guess emulator does count as iOS. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I haven't had the issue or anything or any issues really. Okay, details, new content, and improvements to the system for the Archbuster. Arch, well, four Archbusters will be added, each with unique skills. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Oh, it's um other Archbuster, the one that the pirates had. God damn, I can't even remember their name anymore. But yeah, we're gonna get the Archbusters for the um, Overlord factions, I guess. It's gonna be dope. Our budget pieces level are shared by all Archbusters. Okay, six allies can get on board. Okay, so they're changing it from the whole um. I don't know how many we had. We had like 10 or so that we had to put in the Art Buster, but I guess that's changing. Okay, new content for Art Buster Guild Battles. Okay. Improvement system. Manage one to four Art Busters. Art Buster pieces enhanced have been changed. Art Buster appearing region for quests and scenarios have been changed number of our busters entering world boss has been changed to three. Oh, okay so you can have multiple of these fight at the same time is what i'm guessing daily dungeon has entered um arch buster 2.0 okay special note our buster guilds Good battles will be added to Tuesday's um, task. Well, to this, today's task. So if you got this task, you would have to do it on that day, basically. It's not going to be like on the day of the update, I'm pretty sure. But anywho, need to collect pieces to summon. Wait, no. To collect pieces, oh, part summons, and replace with six part summons during the MA. Dragon Buster levels have been expanded from 60 to 99. Oh god, the Egyptian characters are already coming in. Oh, and this was actually my favorite design one. Uh, what is she? I can't wait to read her skills. Okay, so she's a priest. Uh, let's see. Oh no, they did it like this again. Ah uh, no, god damn it, dude. I hate trying to read this. Please just put it back in the vertical, my guy. Oh no, there's another one. He's a paladin. Guys, can we please have vertical back? 
<laughs> I fucking hate horizontal reading. It's so hard to read, my guy. Alright guys, back to the struggling of reading, but you know. Alright. Well, she's a priest, magic, healer. She inflicts damage on one enemy or heals. First skill, she inflicts damage on one enemy, casts a debuff that inflicts damage every second, and increases magic and single target damage received. Okay. Increases World Boss Golem? Yeah. World Boss Golems, magic receive, and single target receive. Second skill, inflicts damage on all enemies, decrease. Wait, hold up. Where. Uh, let me let me keep going. I was about to say something, but I'll save that afterwards. Decrease enemy defense by 30% and increase their damage received for 20 seconds. Increase continuous damage by 90% for all allies. So, dot damage is going to be really strong with this character. Okay. Third skill. Grant a buff that recovers HP for all allies every second for 14.4 seconds. Simultaneously increases magic attack, single target damage, and additional boss damage for all allies for 30 seconds. This can be stacked. Buff removal will be blocked one time. It'll, it'll just be blocked one time. Next one that comes by will be you know just take away your buffs <laughs> but I think people carry like at least two buff removals if they carry then more than that then you could be in trouble but I kinda doubt it alright so first passive when hit she gains a buff that increases magic damage for all allies for 20 seconds except self Okay, so she can't really buff herself. I noticed that for um, her second skill. She can't increase continuous damage for herself. This buff can be granted up to three times. Increases continuous damage against World Boss Golem. This effect is shared with the second skill continuous damage buff increase. Okay second passive when she attacks an enemy increases intelligence and magic damage for all that random Y just threw me off for all <laughs> allies for 20 seconds increase additional boss damage magic damage for all allies against golem intelligence increasing buff additionally increases by 2% each enhancement level uh, third passive increase healing by 100% and intelligence by 390% for all allies. That's not that bad, to be honest. If you carry another healer, that actually be pretty good. But then again, in Dragon Blaze, it's kind of damage is kind of delayed in Dragon Blaze. Like you can see your character at half HP, and you can clearly see that your that your healers are healing that character but that character is basically already dead because this is still stuck at half HP then it just randomly kills the character I mean this has been a constant thing with Dragon Blaze damage is kind of delayed pretty sure you can ask anybody else in the community and they'll tell you the same thing it's not like really delayed it's just uh, numbers anywho <laughs> enhanced skills all right, so max enhance increases fixed damage for all allies um, when it's enhanced, increase fixed damage and active skill damage for all allies, stacks up to five times. Ultimate enhance, constant damage, continuous damage buff is increased with the second skill up to three times. When enhanced, increases the second skill's constant damage buff for 25 seconds. I think that's what that says. Jeez. 
The buffs can now stack up to two times. This effect is applied identically to the cost of damage buff from Oh, for the first passive. Alright, Arch Enhance. Increases the second... Okay, wait, hold up. Why is everything going to the second buff? I guess her stuff is continuous? No, never mind. So wait, it's always trying to like increase continuous damage. That's weird. Oh, okay. This was like 10 seconds. It changed it to 20. Okay, so when she's Arch, this lasts for 20 seconds. Alright, so when your arch enhance. Oh no. I said that totally wrong. But when when you get her, she'll have this and it'll increase it for 20. But when she's arc enhanced, she gets. increases it up to 40 seconds. Along with a little bit of an increase on a continuous damage buff. Okay. The buff can now be stacked up to 10 times. This effect is applied identically to the first skill. Um, additionally, increases magic, magic attack, single attack, and additional boss damage against Golem upon using the ritual, which is oh, ritual of life, uh, the third skill. Where was I? Oh, here. Enhances and affect the tears. Of, wait. Oh, okay. Hold up. Let me let me start back where I was. Okay. Additionally, increases attack, single attack, additional boss damage against Golem upon using the third skill. Enhances effect of the second passive. Intelligence increased by 50%, magic attack increased by 63%, and fixed damage and active seal damage is increased by 92% for all allies for 40 seconds. Increases additional boss damage, at magic attack, and range attack when you're going up against Golem can stack up to 10 times. Oh dear god, that is a lot for infinity. So when she's infinity, increases enemy received constant damage or continuous damage whichever one you want to go with for all enemies additionally increases enemy received wait why do I feel like that was just put there twice oh okay I got I get I don't know <laughs> anywho additionally increases enemy received continuous damage by 300 for all enemies and a magic single target and range damage by 100% when going up against Golem. Every infinity enhance increases the enemy's damage received from magic single and ranged. Increases the second skill continuous damage buff by 350 for 50 seconds. The buff can now be stacked up to 10 times. This effect is applied identically to the continuous damage buff from the first passive. Enhances the effect of tears, which is the second passive. Instead of that, instead of 10, you would get 55 intelligence, 90 magic attack, and fixed damage, and active, active skill damage will be... 207 yeah 270 I was going to say 270 but 207 for all allies for 50 seconds increases additional boss damage magic attack and range attack up to 240 for golem stacks up to 10 times every infinity enhance increases magic attack by 15%. Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> Infinity abilities. Increase your max HP recovery. Or you can increase your magic attack for all party members. Or you can increase your continuous damage for goal. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Such a small text. Oh my God. His is even smaller over here. No. 
Stop it. So yeah, that's Iris stuff. Osiris. Let's get into your stuff, dude. Alright, Osiris. Paladin. Physical. Tank. Increases all physical attack for allies. Of course, another physical paladin. That's nice. <laughs> what about the magical paladins? Oh, we already have two. But they're all transcended. Well, nope, except for one. One of them's the elf. Never mind. Anyhow, <laughs> first skill. Remove all buffs to second phase from... I fucking hate the second phase. Whole crap. But anywho, remove all buffs up to the second phase. Oh, okay, so we can move anything that's higher. Basically, there's like, hmm. You know, I don't really feel like explaining that one. Somebody in the comments will explain it. Jeez. It is a complicated system. Let's just say you can change a skill up to tier 2 to where it will do something else. I, I guess that's the easiest way to explain it, maybe? No? Anyway, it removes all buffs up to phase 2 from an enemy. The lowest HP inflicts damage, and the phase 2 stuns them for 10 seconds. Cast Hand of Death on enemies, except bosses ignore phase 2 immunity and evasion. Alright, second skill. Ignores all evasion on enemies, excluding bosses. Inflicts damage and blocks healing for 10 seconds. If enemies die while their heal is blocked, they cannot be revived. Second skill, well, third skill. Move all phase 2 buffs from all enemies, inflict damage, or deservedly remove all phase 2 buffs, oh, all phase 2 debuffs on allies. Increase skill attack. And single target attack for 12 seconds. Alright. First passive. Enemies under Hand of Death cannot use skills for 10 seconds. Are automatically taunted and will receive concentrated attacks from allies. Okay, so that would just mean all your allies are going to focus on that person who's taunted. Or who has Hand of Death on them. Hand of Death is just going to make everybody single target. It's basically like Archer's little thing to where she just makes everybody attack that one unit. Okay, increase its attack speed for our or Wait, what? Increase its attack speed phase 2 or all allies for 10 seconds. What? Excuse me? English? I'm just saying, but I don't understand what else it increases, but I guess we'll find out when a character gets here. We'll get a better understanding of what else it increases. But anywho, Osiris ignores immunity and evasion to cast death, head of death on enemies that received... The dead. Wait, what? Whoops. Okay. Cast Hand of Death on enemies that revived the dead without his permission. <laughs> okay. Damn, dude. You need your permission to get revived? That's, that's real fucked up. <laughs> excluding those who are revived. Oh, excluding those who revive themselves. Or boss types. Okay. So, basically, black. Is it really affected by that? Unless she gets hit by um, the second skill. I guess that would be different. Anywho. The second passive. Decrease. Decreases normal damage received AoE. For allies, increase received damage for enemies. Third skill. Decrease damage received by 100%. And become immune to insta kills. Okay, that's pretty nice. We do have quite a few insta kill characters going around, especially Grey Soul. Anybody who's gotten Grey Soul up to Exalted is to be worried about. <laughs> Alright, so max enhances. First, the normal enhance is increase 
all allies physical attack the max enhance will okay when an enemy exclude summons dies on the field Osiris gains a buff that makes all allies immune to insta kills oh god that's actually pretty good receives physical damage magic damage for wait what okay so you so it basically like a little barrier to where they can't receive any damage or insta kills and it only lasts for 6.6 .6 seconds which is not too long but you know every second counts I guess increase physical damage by no increases physical damage and melee damage for all allies I think that the physical damage increased by 815 percent and the melee damage is increased by 745 no 46 Jesus Christ all right second passive increases enemy received for f enemy yeah increases enemies received physical damage for all enemies um, when your ultimate removes all phase 2 buffs from enemies excluding bosses and ignoring evasion inflicts damage equal to 50% of max HP also make them unable to use skills for 15 seconds and increases received physical damage and this effect ignores phase 2 immunity and evasion increases enemies received physical damage I'm pretty sure we've been seeing increased physical damage through this whole little sentence there but alright alright arch but first the normal version of it decreases Osiris active skills by oh active skill cooldown by two percent all right arch enhance inflicts damage equal to 40 percent of max hp blocks heals for 10 seconds attacks all attacks become critical hits and increases enemies receive damage for all enemies with hand of death inflicts additional damage equal to 40% of max HP to enemies that revive the dead without his permission oh so your healers whoever revives a character receives damage okay excluding those who have revived themselves enemies that die while they have hand of death cannot use skill wait what hold on enemies that died while they have while they had hands of death cannot use skills that are activated upon death and revival skills for 10 seconds if Osiris receives damage that is more than 10% of his HP he will only take 10% of that damage uh, and is immune to receive physical damage to increase every time head of death is used reduce active skill cooldown by 10% for all allies in arena and league battle okay so he's pretty much a PvP character noted I can tell by the insta kills you know no, just kidding. <laughs> I gotta be a douche for that anywho infinity skills let's see when Osiris dies the first time he takes one enemy with oh my god no please dear god that's actually really good. <laughs> uh, 
Is it at random though? Hold on. When Osiris dies for the first time on the battlefield, he instantly kills one enemy. And this enemy cannot be revived. This insta kill ignores phase two immunity and evasion. Oh, so he can't even evade it. It's over with. Can't be used on enemies excluded bosses. Upon using the uh, third skill, fair judgment skill and arena, and league, reset all active cooldown. All active cooldowns on one ally becomes immune for 12.7 seconds and blocks all buff removals once. Increase single target damage and skill damage for all allies and each in each affinity enhancement increases that single target damage and um, skill damage for all allies. Infinity abilities. You can increase the physical damage of all party members or you can increase the single damage for all party members or you can increase your accuracy for Osiris. Alright, so revamped. God, it was great to get through that. But Osiris is actually pretty interesting. But revamped infinity summons, infinity summon and skill enhance but oh, infinity enhance skill balancing. Wait, what are they all changing? I hope they have a list of everything they changed. Infinity card view system will be added. Ah, so we can see. How, okay, well, I don't get that one too much since we have. Um, since we already have hero review, but you know. I, I guess that's fine. Unless I'm thinking about something else. Summon at, summon at once feature will be added to Infinity Summon. Okay, nice. When you buy 10 Infinity Summons, you will receive a bonus plus guarantee Infinity Oh, hold on. Is it, wait, which one is... Okay, so you get a guarantee of an Infinity Card if you buy 10 Infinity Summons. Oh, that's pretty nice. So basically just buy one and that'll be like 18,000 rubies for an infinity card. That's that's pretty that's a pretty good deal. You can now craft infinity cards using well, hold on. You can now craft infinity cards using a soul and transcended essence, which is this character. If you get her out of the um, summons you can craft her into an affinity card dude that is sick so now any affinity card that you wanted or it'll probably be random i'm pretty sure it'll probably be random i don't think you get to select the card you want because if that was the case that would be actually be pretty damn cool but i doubt they're going to do that considering that affinity is going to be like pretty much built into the system and I think it goes up to infinity 99 and I'm pretty sure another tier is coming to the game that is over infinity so yeah more grinding that's at least what people have told me so yeah thanks for spoilers jerks infinity button will be activated while you when you have an infinity card okay cool Alright, added a hard difficulty. Oh, so guild tickets are getting a harder mode. It will cost a thousand and five hundred. And normal guild ticket will be hit the same. Okay, so now we have more leagues for um, league battle. Nice. Okay, so now 10 Man Arena is officially released and out of its beta testing. Improved allies. Max number of allies recommended for each update. From 10 to 20. During Absorb, the remaining souls will be sent to your mailbox. Automatically merged. 
Wait, what? Oh, 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 okay. I see. So if you merge with like, let's say if you merge like one character and there's some leftover like souls, those souls go to your bag and you merge another one and a little bit more souls go to there. Those two pack of souls will automatically combine. So let's say the first summon gave you like five souls that the second one gave you like 10. You're going to go in there. It's going to be like a 15 pal of your remaining souls just to keep your uh, bag from filling up or your uh, mailbox from filling up. Uh, recommended ally may you have been added to guild to guild tournament and uh, to man arena and manage heroes section a new text has been added at the bottom of ally enhance and combine ui and exorcism will be improved ally filter has been divided physical magic and hybrid okay weird but oh okay yeah you can just find your physical user your magic users you would be able to tell them easier you'll be able to build a physical team and magic team way easier with that okay lock feature has been added for transcendence and overlords thank you no really thank you because i've been trying not to use one of my characters as food for like the longest time and i'm going to be really upset if i actually use her by mistake okay <laughs> well boss the challenge record has been improved so that damage done i check stop it mouse okay so records has been improved so that damage done by ally can be checked thank you i think this is individual damage to see which character did better please let that be it that'd be really nice a release pop-up for oh a result pop-up for your automatic enhance will has been improved your ally enhanced display has been simplified okay nice recommended ally function has been added okay so they approved um, alternate alternization cards okay off and on function for exterior has been added Wait, what? I'm pretty sure uh, I thought that was added to the game. I think they're talking about something else. Um, authorization card can be used for characters that are level 251 or higher. I'm kind of confused about, about this stuff. Somebody explain that to me. Conditions for wearing the card has changed. Wait, there's conditions? What? Okay, now I'm confused. Allies wearing the authorization card and their level will be displayed. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. Because I would rather see their level than just the level 9 at the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. A function has been added to check your friend list with authorization guards. I don't know about that one, but mailbox hasn't been improved. Can collectively display mail with close date. Okay, so they'll just have like a sorting button, I guess. Leaving soon. Ah, okay. That's what it's talking about. Can delete all mail without any items attached. Okay, so you can just get rid of, like, the useless stuff. You know, if it doesn't have any items, delete. No, <laughs> I would recommend you check all your stuff before you do that, just because you could have guild messages, too. Please, for the love of God. Other improvements. Tuesdays. Oh. Tuesday Dungeon has been improved from Jewels 
to Dragon Buster parts. Uh, I'll take that, to be honest. Nobody really does jewel, and you can get jewels through raid, and whenever, um, what was it? ROB comes by. You can get way better ones when ROB comes by. Alright. It has parts for runes and transcended cards. Our buster has been improved to bulking system. To bulk enhance. Display text for characters level up has been re have been revamped. Hervis. Oh. <sighs> Maximum ghost capacity has been increased. Sorry about this. Um, auto retry. For raid and event challenger results green has been improved. Challenger dungeon. Gold ghouls count has been improved. Uh, wait, did I just say ghoul? You know what, dude? I need to go to sleep. <laughs> Dragon Buster's UI has been improved. World Boss Challenge Record has been revanced for visit Triple One. Dude, I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> Bubba for claims improved. Raising drop rate for certain allies has been improved. Spacebook recommended function has been removed. Oh, yeah, the whole Facebook friend thing. Nobody really uses that. To be honest, they could have changed that, but I think since Hive is shutting down, they can't really have that anymore. But to be honest, they should just put in a friend invite thing like everybody else does and tell them, tell your friends to like level up to a certain point, you know? They can still do that, like, invitation wise. Just with like a lot better rewards than what they were giving us the first time. Because I think it was like a double, no, triple SR, no, triple S character, and that wasn't going to do us any good anymore since the game was, you know, pretty much evolved to this state. Alright, let's see. Improved upgrade, well, improved upgrade, uh, what am I saying upgrade? Update system for, uh, okay, for patch and mini games. Ooh. Icon change. Summer costume. Oh my god, I might have to buy this. I don't even use mage, and I'm still thinking about buying this. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. This pirate costume looks sick. We're definitely gonna look at those costumes when they drop. Increase drop rate for certain allies during Affinity Summon. Oh, oh, that's pretty neat. That is definitely pretty neat. So we have an event su event summons. So you can't use your free ins your free uh, infinity summons over at the event summon. Just so you guys know, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna ha that's not gonna happen. You know, a few packs. You know, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Special events once per account. Get some art buster pieces. Just by logging in. Rewards for I'll oh, get yeah, all these events are eating me. Rip all those events. But we are finally done. Jesus Christ. Can we no really devs, can you change the whole um text when you're showing the characters back to ver like vertical? It hurts my eyes. And it makes me suffer. Is that what you guys are trying to do? Make me suffer? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I've said a lot of shit, so you know I probably deserve it. <laughs> All right, we got a five infinity summons. Let's see what we get. I've been holding these off since last week, or like two weeks ago, maybe. No, last week. Look it. Let's see what we get. It is transcended. I don't need it. Ow! Ow! God, not, not looking good on those first summons, you know. Feels bad, mate. Next. What's this one? No transcended? Who is it? Oh, Falcon. Aw. Oh, if only he was Arch. Now give me his Infinity card. 
That'd be cool. Give me two of his affinity cards, actually. <laughs> Already have you. Oh, wait, what's this? Ah, nice. I'm going to save that just to see what's going to go on in an update. And we're going to test it. Overlord. Dude, fucking thing. Oh, my God. She's arch, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. I did, did I, didn't I already build her? No, I didn't. I don't think I did yet. I think I was getting ready to, and I stopped myself. I think I stopped myself. I hope I stopped myself. But that's going to be great. Fuck yeah. <laughs> if I didn't stop myself, then it well, feels bad, mate. Don't need you. Don't need you. Well, I guess that's fine. I'm actually going to save the rubies for um, the event summon. Ah, uh, it's a... Oh, god damn it. It's another fucking Siegfried. Why not? <laughs> Siegfried plus one infinity. Coming right up. <laughs> oh my god. Sure, why not? Alright, let me check this. Alright. Your ultimate. Well, you know, your arch. Did I make another one? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Okay, hold up. Is she exalted? Nah, I'm pretty sure she's not exalted. No way she could be exalted. I swear to God, if I made one of these, I'm going to hate myself. Okay, good. I didn't make one. Let, let me make sure I just didn't put a freaking card on her. That'd be terrible. Okay, good. So the game did just slow down my, well, speed up my progress to that. Alright, nice. Nice, 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 nice. So now, infinity and beyond. And now I can make you ultimate as well. Well, uh, infinity. Dude, that's fucking sweet. But first things first. Yeah, I still have not finished her. I know. She's she's almost there. Okay, get off my back. She's almost done. And we have all this stuff. We can just throw it in there. Throw. 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 Um, throw. I was going to save you. Just the create her just great chin but you know uh, that's fantastic <laughs> she was ultimate too that's the sad part <laughs> uh let's see die die uh well the rest of those are gonna have to you know just stay tucked away But yeah, when you go in here, it'll, it'll all be separated. But they're going to change it to where it won't be separated. So this would be like 20, 21. Boop. Well, this is going to be fun trying to get her done. But I'm definitely making Iris. Iris is definitely guaranteed since I'm back on the magic team grind now. Like, I am slowly just coming back to the magic team. Oh, yeah. I, the one thing I was going to say about Iris is I was like, wait a minute. This character is not even about healing. She's literally about just buffing, like, buffing continuous damage. <laughs> that's, that's literally it. She's just all about that. But literally... Only like one skill heals from her and she, she does nothing else but just increase damage. <laughs> but I guess that's the support for you. But hope you guys enjoyed a longer video of just suffering, trying to get through skills and stuff and affinity summons. Yeah, I'm I'm done. I'm going to go play some Resident Evil 7 and I'm going to wrap up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out.